welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a question that many new developers encounter when working with React and Ant Design. Our viewer is curious about how to use Babel RC to get Babel plugin import working for Ant Design. They've set up their project using Create React App, installed Ant Design, and added Babel plugin import but they're still seeing warnings about using the entire Ant Design package. Let's break down their challenge and find a solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. Let's get to get started with using Babel plugin import for AntD, first ensure you have a .babelrc file in your project's root directory. This file is essential for configuring Babel. Next, let's check if your project is set up correctly. Since you used Create React app, it comes with its own Babel configuration. You might need to eject your app to customize Babel settings directly. If you prefer not to eject, you can use a tool like React App Rewired. This allows you to override the default configuration without ejecting. Install it using NPM. After setting up React App Rewired, create a config overrides.js file in your project root. Here you can add the Babel plugin import configuration. Finally, restart your development server. This should resolve the warning about using the whole package of AntD, and you'll be able to import components on demand. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To use Babel plugin import with Ant Design, follow the documentation. If you're using Create React App, remember you can't change Babel configuration directly without ejecting. If you prefer not to eject, use at Krakrako. You can add your Babel configuration in craco.config.js. Here's a sample configuration. Include the import plugin for Ant Design and set style to true or CSS. Don't forget to update your scripts in package.json to use Krako instead of React scripts. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.